Hi, this is Christian Kastner. In this Leadership Wednesday video, I want to speak about a book. It's called Emotional Capitalists from Martin Newman. That's a book I picked up after Christmas and it's a fantastic book about how, what you can do to bring emotional intelligence to work and what results you will get through it. Emotional intelligence is probably a term you have heard already. Daniel Coleman was probably the first very well known person to bring this into the management literature. It's of course a little bit older than that, but Martin tries to expand and explain what emotional intelligence is doing in business for you and with you. And the key things, the, the key points what he has is that you have to be aware as a leader about your emotions and what is driving you. And also you have to develop the skills to manage other people, influence people more effectively. Maybe some of you are saying, hey, what do we need this emotional stuff? We have the CRM system, we have this products, everything is great. The interesting thing is to see that from World War II until recently, um, there was a kind of an organizational leadership style, which was more control and doing. That was a sign of the industrial age. Today, we are in the knowledge economy. And in this knowledge economy, the empowerment to release the knowledge of the workers is such, so important. And emotional intelligence can help you to do this. I want to highlight three important points from Martin. The first one he talks about is a leader as a person. It starts all with you. It starts with your internal motivation. It starts with what you're doing. And the key point is that you have to control your behaviors, your self-confidence, your optimism, your self-reliance and empathy every day when you go. Your level of positivity, focus, energy you invest in work and in your co-workers has a direct influence in your personal life, but also in the life of the people around you. You have the power to inspire or demotivate the people you're meeting every day. Secondly, the emotions have a direct influence on the people you're working with and they have an influence on your customers and the people they're meeting. Yeah. And nowadays, this emotional commitment what everyone has is much more important than in the old days when people worked on an assembly line and were paid to be there from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening. Today, people can come to work and bring their body to work, but your job as a leader is it to get the emotions, the extra way of the people into action. Let me explain that. For example, you have people working in the customer service. They are paid for picking up the phone and answering the inquiries of the customer. They can do it in different ways. They can do it in a friendly, empathic way, listening and have a real good conversation with the customer. So the customer has a real good feeling that your company is a great solution provider. And this kind of empathy is something you cannot organized by programs. That's something what people only do when they're trusting you as a leader and your emotions, what you bring to them. When you are friendly to them, they are friendly most likely to the customer. So that is a very important point, what you can directly influence without much money as a leader. And the third is called the external emotional capital. That is in our days a very important point. What are you doing before you take a major investment? You're looking at the reviews at Amazon or in the internet. You're listening to what other people have to say. Or you're buying just by perception of a brand value. Why is Apple getting higher prices for the phones than any other company? It's because people perceive it as a technology company with good technology, with friendly employees, with great customer service. So because of that, people are willing to pay because of the perception. People paying more for a coffee at Starbucks than with a mom and pop shop around the corner. Yeah? So people buying by a perception of value what you create. And customers want to buy from organizations who are like them. Yeah? They want to be treated nice. They want to have a relationship. And this relationship is only there when there, is, when there are emotions in place. So I hope I lightened a little bit your day. 
ask your questions below and I will be next week. Thank you.